So the first parent function that we're going to deal with is a simple function f of x equals x. Now f of x equals x is just the same as y equals x, which is just a basic line. So let's make a table of values for this function and then plot the points. So at an x value of negative 3, our y value would also be negative 3. At an x value of negative 2, y would be negative 2, and so on and so on. So then taking these points, an x value of negative 3, a y value of negative 3, that would be here. Negative 2, negative 2 would be here. So the line looks something like this. It's just a straight line and it goes on forever. So, so far pretty simple, basically review. Now let's introduce these concepts, this domain and range, and we've already talked about what domain and range were in a previous video. So let's start off with domain. What does it mean? Well, it basically means all of the values that the independent variable can take in a relation. And if you notice this line here, there are no restrictions on the independent variables or the x values. The x value can literally be anything for this function. So the way we would write that is we always put this squiggly bracket for domain and range. And if x can be anything, we write x is an element of real numbers. This x is an element, this uh, weird looking e here, an element of real numbers, this capital R. That basically means that x can be anything. You're going to see this notation a lot in your book. Now what about the range? The range is the values that the dependent variable can take in a relation. And if you look at the graph, the y values can be anything as well, all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. So the y values can also be an element of real numbers. So that's how we would write the domain and range for our parent function y equals x or f of x equals x.